Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at how to take the variance and the standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution. So the formulas are here on your main screen for you. So we have our variance. We know we use sigma squared. And the way that we would calculate that is we would sum up the squared difference between each random variable and the mean, also known as the expected value. So you might see E of X there. And we would multiply each of those by the associated probability. So that would get us our variance. And our standard deviation, or sigma, is of course just the square root of sigma squared. So we can calculate the variance and then just take its square root to get the standard deviation. So let's see an example of that. So here's our earthquake example from before. We calculated the mean to be 0.6 in our expected value video. So I've just copied that information here. Now we want to calculate the variance and the standard deviation for the number of earthquakes from this distribution. So our variance, our sigma squared, will again be the sum of the squared variance, so the squared difference between each random variable and the mean, times the associated probability. So here that will be 0 minus 0 0.6 squared, so that would be the random variable 0 minus the mean 0 0.6 squared, times the probability that goes with 0, or 0 0.5. Plus, now we'll do the same thing for 1, so that's 1 minus 0 0.6 squared, times the probability that goes with 1, which is 0 0.4. Doing the same thing for 2, 2 minus 0 0.6 squared, times the probability that goes with 2, or 0 0.1. So going ahead and calculating 0 minus 0 0.6 and squaring, we get 0 0.36, and then we'll still need to multiply by the probability 0 0.5, plus 1 minus 0 0.6 squared is 0 0.16 times 0 0.4, plus 2 minus 0 0.6 squared is 1.96 and then multiplying by 0 0.1. All right, doing that multiplication now, 0.36 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.18. 0 0.16 times 0 0.4 is 0 0.064. And 1.96 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.196. So adding all of that up, we get a variance of 0 0.44. Now remember that variance doesn't or isn't very easy to work with. It doesn't it's not easy to explain what that means. So we typically prefer to work with the standard deviation. So the standard deviation will be the square root of the variance or in this case the square root of 0 0.44. That comes out to be 0 0.663. So a standard deviation of 0 0.663 tells us that while our mean is 0 0.6, we can expect a, a standard deviation from that in a given year of 0 0.663. All right, guys, that is how we calculate variance and standard deviation for a probability distribution. We'll catch you in the next video.